Good day, my dear students. Welcome to our subject, Fundamentals of Accountancy, Business, and Management 2. I am Mr. Stephen Alexius G. Baltazar, your subject instructor. Before we start, let us all bow down for a short prayer. All together, all-powerful and ever-living God, we adore you and we praise you, Lord God. All blessing, glory, wisdom, and thanksgiving is yours. We ask pardon, O Lord, for our sins, and we thank you for every good and perfect gift that comes from you. We ask the wisdom of the Holy Spirit to fall afresh upon us, and may the Holy Spirit enlighten our minds to understand the lesson for today. May the saving grace of our Lord Jesus Christ restore our health and heal every broken area of our lives. May that merited favor and protection of the Almighty Father be with us always. Amen. Our topic for today is Vertical and Horizontal Analysis. Our learning competency is to perform vertical and horizontal analysis of the financial statement of a single proprietorship. Our code is taken from the Most Essential Learning Competency, or MELC. Our objectives are enumerated as follows. To discuss the steps in performing vertical analysis of the financial statement of a single proprietorship. Number two, to perform vertical analysis of financial statement of a single proprietorship. Number three, to discuss the steps in performing horizontal analysis of the financial statement of a single proprietorship. And number four, to perform horizontal analysis of financial statement of a single proprietorship. What is financial statement analysis? Financial statement analysis involves careful selection of data from financial statements for the primary purpose of forecasting the financial health of the company. This is accomplished by examining trends in key financial data, comparing financial data across companies, and analyzing key financial ratios. What are the steps in performing financial statement analysis? First is to establish the objectives of conducting the analysis. Number two, we should study the industry in which the firm or business operates and relate industry climate to current and projected economic development. Number three, develop knowledge of the firm and the quality of management. Number four, Evaluate financial statements using any of the following techniques. Vertical analysis, horizontal analysis of comparative statements, trend percentages, common size FS, financial ratios. And number five, summarize findings based on the analysis and reach conclusions about the firm's performance relative to the established objectives. Let us now proceed with vertical analysis. What is vertical analysis? Vertical analysis shows the relationship of each part to the whole in a single financial statement. In the statement of financial position or balance sheet, each item is expressed as a percentage of total assets or as a percentage of total liabilities and owner's equity. In the income statement, each item is presented as a percentage of net sales. What are the steps in performing vertical analysis? Number one, prepare comparative financial statements of two consecutive years. For example, year 2019 and year 2020. Number two, add one additional column on the right side of each year. Number three, for the comparative statement of financial position, express each account as a percentage of the total assets. 
take note that the total assets is automatically 100%. Likewise, total liabilities and owner's equity is automatically 100%. For the comparative income statement, express each account as a percentage of net sales. Take note that net sales is automatically 100%. I hope that is clear to you. Let us now discuss about horizontal analysis. What is horizontal analysis? Horizontal analysis compares the same account in the financial statements of two periods, current and past year, determining the amount of change and computing its percentage using a base year as computation. It should be noted that for accounts in the base year with zero or negative balances, the computation of percentage will not apply. What are the steps in performing horizontal analysis? Number one, prepare comparative financial statements of two consecutive years. Let's say, for example, year 2019 and year 2020. Step number two, add a third column for the increase or decrease in the amount and a fourth column for the percentage of increase or decrease. Step number three, get the percentage of increase or decrease for each account. Letter A, choose a base year which is usually the initial year of analysis. Letter B, deduct the amount of the current year from the base year. Letter C, divide the difference above by the amount of the base year. Letter D, multiply the quotient by 100 to get the percentage of change. In order for us to better understand horizontal analysis, let us check out this formula. The percentage of change is equal to current year amount minus base year amount all over base year amount multiplied by 100% will give you the percentage of change. Take note. For accounts with zero balance in the initial or base year, the formula for the percentage of change will not apply. So it's time to do an activity, the do-it-yourself activity. Instructions. Enumerate the steps in performing horizontal analysis of the financial statements of a single proprietorship. Next, state the formula to get the percentage of increase or decrease for each account. Okay, get your pen and paper ready. Let us try answering this activity. The steps in performing horizontal analysis are enumerated as follows. Number one, prepare comparative financial statements of two consecutive years. Number two, add a third column for the increase or decrease in amount and a fourth column for the percentage of increase or decrease. Number three, get the percentage of increase or decrease for each account. Letter A, choose a base year which is usually the initial year of analysis. Letter B, deduct the amount of the current year from the base year. Letter C, divide the difference above by the amount of the base year. Letter D, multiply the quotient by 100 to get the percentage of change. So in order for us to better understand horizontal analysis, let us Review the formula. Percentage of change is equal to current year amount minus the base year amount divided by the base year amount and multiplied by 100% will give you the percentage of change whether it is decrease or increase. 
take note. For accounts with zero balance in the initial or base year, the formula for the percentage of change will not apply. After the activity, it's time for an exciting do-it-yourself quiz. Listen up for the instructions. Perform horizontal analysis of the financial statement of a single proprietorship by filling in the table with a change in amount and present of the given accounts. Presented in the next slide is the income statement information related to Steve Rich merchandising for the years ended December 31. So we have here Steve Rich merchandising income statement for the years ended December 31 and take note they are in millions. So provided in the table are as follows. You have there a comparative data for the year 2020 and 2021. You have their net sales, cost of goods sold, and gross profit. So our task is to determine the increase or decrease in the amount and as well as in the change in percentage for net sales, COGS, and gross profit. Are you ready to answer this quiz? I guess you are. So before we answer the do-it-yourself quiz, let us review the formula. To compute the percentage of change, it is equal to current year amount minus the base year amount all over the base year amount and multiplied by 100% will give us the percentage of change. Let us now answer the quiz. To compute the increase or decrease in amount, we simply subtract the current year minus the base year. So for net sales, 2,213.30 minus 1,738.70 will give you 474.60. How about for COGS? 1032.10 minus 831.80 will give you 200.30. Next, for gross profit, 1181.20 minus 906.90 will give you 274.30. I hope that is clear. We now proceed with the increase or decrease in percentage. So take note of the formula, current year minus base year, all over the base year times 100 will give you the percentage of change. 2,213.30 minus 1,738.70 will give you 474.60 divided by 1738.70 times 100 will give you 27.3%. Let us now compute for the percentage of change for COGS. 1032.10 minus 831.80 will give you 200.30 divided by 831.80 times 100 will give you 24.1%. How about for gross profit? 1181.20 minus 906.90 will give you 274.30 divided by 906.90 times 100 will give you 30.2%. That is all for today. Thank you very much for listening and participating. And God bless you, my dear students.